we're seeing, you know, in global police state is this convergence of global capitalism's political need for social control in the face of what is a, a, a real and a potential expansion of a global revolt with its economic need to continue to make profit in the face of, of stagnation. So there's so many different dimensions of global police state. And we see, for example, the privatized. So that's not just the United States. There's over 200 private prisons now and they're growing, they're growing very rapidly. We're seeing immigrant, uh, the expansion of uh, an extension of immigrant detention and deportation regimes around the world. We're seeing the construction of border and containment walls. And there's a brand new report that came out after I wrote the book that there's 63 containment walls built in borders to keep out the oppressed refugees, migrants, um, 63 new containment walls built around the the, the, um, the world. We're seeing the extension of systems of mass surveillance and geo-tracking uh, to control the movement of human beings and to repress human beings. Um, and this is being, of course, this is heightened in the context of the uh, pandemic. We're seeing the in every single mega city of the world, we're seeing militarized urban uh, policing. We're seeing uh, the extension of paramilitary armies and private security forces being deployed all around the world. And of course, that's a profit making opportunity as well as a as a mechanism of extended uh, you know, of, of repression. We're seeing um, the blurring of military and civilian uh, uh, forms of warfare and of social control. And increasingly, the mega cities around the world are turning into active uh, war zones in which you see uh, a blurring of the boundaries between the cor corporate repression and corporate control and capitalist uh, states. So, you know, I can go on and on. These are some of the dimensions of global police state. You know, I would also add that uh, you point you pointed out at the beginning this unprecedented inequality uh, in global capitalist society. And these inequalities can only be sustained through extreme violence and extreme militarization and repression. And so you have also these bogus wars on drugs and on terrorism. It has nothing to do with stopping drugs and has nothing to do with stopping terrorism. And the U.S. state is the biggest terrorist uh, purveyor of terrorism uh, in the world. But they legitimate global police state. But they also, these wars on terrorism, so-called wars on terrorism and on drugs and on gangs and on youth more generally and on immigrants, these also uh, have the result of uh, dispossessing tens and hundreds of millions of more people and then open up their resources and their labor to exploitation by capital. So that's why I'm going to keep on coming back to how the how the accumulation of capital and profit making by a tiny corporate elite worldwide converges with this political need for social control to contain uh, mass revolt from below. You also and, and, and by the way, and Chris, I just want to mention also that, it, that at some point I would love to go over just some of the shocking data on the extent to which global police state is so massively profitable.